Hey everyone, today we will learn about Sue based real time broadcast with Next.js by building a simple mouse tracker application. This kind of feature is really useful for collaborative board type of application like Figma, Miro, and so on. In the previous video, we have learned how to build the simple chat application by using Superbase real time presence and Postgres changes. If you haven't watched that video, I would highly recommend you to check that video as well. Today, we are just going to only focus on Superbase broadcast. So just a quick recap on broadcast. It basically just sending frequent data very quickly with low latency. For example, sending mouse cursors. Mouse cursors changes very frequently and you need to send them with very low latency. So that's what we are going to use today. So before you get started, please consider like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we need to create a new page. So just create a new file inside source, then app, then create a directory board and then page.jsx. And I already have some code to get started. So I have this use effect hook, which is adding a handler whenever your mouse is moving. And this handle mouse move function is attached. We can get the mouse position from the event. So let's restructure them. And let's console log. And let's just go to the board page. If I open up the console, you can see the cursor position on the console. Now let's see how we can send our cursor position to the channel. So let's first create a new channel. On channel. And you need to use the channel method and the name can be whatever you want. We need to store the channel inside a ref so that we can have access inside this handle mouse move function. So const channel ref and channel ref dot current will be channel. And here we can use the send method. So channel ref dot current dot send. And we need to pass an object. Here we need to first give a type and it will be broadcast and an event name and it can be whatever you want I will store that in a variable and I will pass that event name and now you can put whatever values and properties you want inside this object I will pass a payload object and inside I will pass position X and Y and after the position I will pass some user data and I can access the user from the user ref and we are getting the user data from the use user hook so let's do the user from the ref and I want to send the name and the ID then I want to send color. There is a function I have created, generate random color, which will give me a random color for each user. I will also store the color inside a ref because if you just pass generate random color, then it will give you a new random color every single time you send a new message. So that's not what we want. So that's why I'm going to store that inside a ref. So const user color ref. And we're going to pass user color ref dot current. So this should uh, send the data. Now we can listen for any kind of uh, data sent to us. So channel dot on. And you need to pass broadcast as a first argument, then an object, and you need to pass the event. 
and the event will be the event name variable. Make sure the event you pass here, the event name you pass here, and the event name you pass over here is same. Otherwise, it won't work. You won't get the updates. And then you pass a color function, which will have a parameter. Let's call it data. And let's destructure the values. But actually, let's just console log the broadcast data first. Does not set any state. And finally, you just need to subscribe. I will also remove the console log on this line. So let's see if everything works or not. And if I change the cursor position, you see a new log is added on the other window. And if I go to the left window and change the cursor, you see the payload data on the other window. So if you send a message to the channel, then you won't get that update. Other users will get that update. But you still can get the data, but I'm not interested in that. <coughs> so let's destructure the data and store them inside this uh, cursor state. Let's remove the console log. Let's restructure the data. And let's get the user, position, and color. And let's store them inside the cursor state. The cursor state is actually an object. And inside the object, the keys are going to be the user IDs. So let's store them. Set cursors. Let's restructure, sorry, spread the previous state and add the user ID as property. I will spread the position object. Then the name will be user.name and I'll pass the color. And that should be it. And you see a cursor on my right window. And if I go to the right window, you see a cursor on my left window. So that's pretty much it. Before I end this, uh, let me just explain the UI code. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, we are just looping over all the properties of the cursor subject. We have some uh, tailwind class names, making the cursor container absolute. And the container position would be the cursor position. The mouse pointer to is actually an icon from Lucid React. The color and the fill is actually the random color that we have sent from the color and the fill is actually that random color. And the background color is also that random color. And we are just displaying the username. So that's pretty much it. And one thing I forgot is that you need to unsubscribe when the component is unmounted. So you need to do that in the cleanup function of this use effect hook. So let's return a function. So channel dot unsubscribe. And that should be it. So this is how you can use Superbase broadcast. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.